Hi, I'm Marilyn, and if you're watching this video, it probably means that you either just bought or are considering buying a sock slider to help you put on your socks without pain. First thing you need to do is assemble it. The cradle and handle are each made up of two pieces that can be easily assembled before use. Here's how you put the cradle together. When you look at the bottom of the cradle, you'll notice this piece sticking out. When you look at the base, you'll see there is a corresponding groove. In order to put the cradle together, all you have to do is align this piece with the matching groove and slide. Now it's locked in to help you put your socks on with ease. And here's how you put the handle together. Just take this piece here where it tapers in and put it into the open end of this piece. Apply a little pressure to make sure they're well attached. And there you go. Now that both the cradle and handle have been assembled, you're ready to use your sock slider. This is the trickiest part of using the sock slider, but once you get it, you'll never forget it. First, you wanna lay the sock with the top facing up and the heel facing down. Second, you want to fold the open end of the sock back into the cradle like this and scrunch the sock down until the toe is all the way up by the top of the cradle. Then you place the sock slider onto the floor, which depending on your level of personal mobility, you can do by hand or preferably with the sock slider handle. Next, you're ready to insert your foot. The best way to do this is to align your toes with the sock's toe seam and slide your foot right into the sock, like this. If your sock slider is slipping on the floor, you can use the handle to hold the sock slider base in place if needed. The sock slider is perfect for all types of socks, no matter how long or tight. You can put on compression or tube socks with the sock slider, just like you would with normal socks. Slide the sock onto the sock slider like this. You'll need to scrunch it a little more, but it'll still work. Once it's on your foot, if you're having trouble getting the sock to slide as high as you need it, you can use the handle to help pull the sock up like this. And that's how you put on compression socks and tube socks with the sock slider. Now that you know how to put your socks on with the sock slider, you may be thinking, great, but that's only half the battle. Don't worry, the sock slider has thought of everything. You can use the handle to easily remove socks, like this. But you're not going to go outside and just your socks, are you? Now that your socks are on, thanks to the sock slider, you can also use the handle as a shoehorn. Watch. And when you get back home, just use the sock slider as a shoehorn again to remove your shoes. And that's pretty much it. That's how the sock slider can help you remove the pain of putting on and taking off your shoes and socks every day. Hopefully, the sock slider and this instructional video will help you make the most of every day. Thanks for watching.